celebrate this third Sunday of Easter. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Great disciples, welcome. Would you like to come up so we can pray for you? Could we have the Great Disciples prayer up, please? Hold on, they're still coming. So let us pray. Lord, these children are all such treasured members of our church family. We thank you for blessing us with them. Guide them on their journey of faith and us as we care for them. Amen. Have a great time, guys. See you later. <clears throat> God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from a uh, hymn. Should we have a hymn instead? Should we have a hymn, yes. Should we have a hymn? <laughs> Would you like a hymn? Sorry. <laughs> We're almost standing for our first hymn. <laughs> Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Let us therefore rejoice by putting away all malice and evil and confessing our sins with a sincere and true heart. Almighty God, God, our our Heavenly Heavenly Father, Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. 
Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We remain standing for the Gloria. Let us pray. Almighty Father, who in your great mercy gladdened the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord, give us such knowledge of his presence with us that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life and serve you continually in righteousness and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. Please sit for the readings. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter addressed the people. You Israelites, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us? As though by our own power by or piety we had made him walk. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our ancestors, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and rejected in the presence of Pilate, though he had decided to release him. But you rejected the Holy One, and Holy and Righteous One, and asked to have a murderer given to you. And you killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses, and by faith in his name, his name itself has made this man strong, whom you see and know, and the faith that is through Jesus has given him his perfect health in the presence of you all. And now, friends, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. In this way, God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, that his Messiah would suffer. Repent, therefore, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. 
you know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone, everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just before we stand to sing our hymn, um, I've noticed some little ones. Oliver, Joshy, hi. Um, there's another little one. If uh, Growing Disciples is on today, um, if he wanted, they don't have to go, but they can if they want to. Um, if you want to go to Growing Disciples, come this way and through the door. Sonia, oh, if you come this way, Sonia, would you mind taking them? Is that all right? Brilliant, thank you. Yeah, guys, you can go that way if you want to. And so while they're going through, um, let's stand to sing our hymn to welcome the gospel. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus himself stood among the eleven and their companions and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened and why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. 
See that it is I myself. Touch me and see. For a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when they had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, you, O Christ. May my words be in the name of the living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Sorry. Will you please sit down? As usual, all week, I've been thinking about and praying about the sermon for today. And I thought I had it. I thought I had it. Um, until I started listening to the news last night and through the night. Um, And I don't know how you feel, but certainly I didn't sleep as well as I could and have been listening to what's going on and offering my own prayers. And in the reading that we've just heard, right at the end it says, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning in Jerusalem. And what we have seen and heard, not only today, but long time past about Jerusalem, is that it's not a place of peace and safety and joy. There are parts through people that offer hope and courage and offer examples of a world that is better than this one. But as I thought about that and feeling quite sad really, I started thinking then about, of course, the New Jerusalem. The New Jerusalem that the scriptures promise us, which is not the Jerusalem of earth, but the New Jerusalem of heaven and the future hope for human beings that are sinful and broken and who follow nothing but their own need for power and revenge. So where does that take us apart from the future hope? And the future hope, of course, is the reason we're here. But where does it take us now at this time? And as I was thinking, that through, so actually the promise of this new Jerusalem actually begins in every place where Christians come together in hope. We are signs of what that could be. This little sign of the new Jerusalem here in a beautiful church that most people know nothing about. In a wonderful place to live, so I think, called Shirley, that most people know nothing about, unless you add Croydon onto the end of that, and then people go, oh, Croydon. But really, not much is known. And yet here in this place, there is holiness and hope 
Here in this place, we come to worship God, to pray, to receive the sacrament together and the hope of something new, not just in the future, but the hope of something new in our hearts and in the people that we are. So my question is, I guess, is quite simple. Is this of value to the world? Is what we do here something that needs to be done? Well, I think it is. Because each little place, each little place is a place where Jesus dwells with us. And each little place offers a hope to the world that we bring stuff in and we take stuff out. So as I promised last week, actually what I need to say to you is, if you think this place and what we do is as precious as I think it is, then we're really going to have to do something about that. We need to pull ourselves together in order to offer the hope to the world. And actually, we've had debates on the PCC. Hopefully you've seen my thing on the website about what Church Walden's role is. Do you know what? It's not that complicated and it's not that difficult if we all do it together. If we leave it to one or two people, there is too much of a burden. But if each of us believe that we, in this new place of hope here, can be signs of the kingdom, and we all do our little bit, then the gospel, the promise of hope, and everything that goes with it will survive, and not only survive, but grow in this place. We don't come here as guests to be served. We come here as members of Christ's family, the body of Christ, to serve each other. That's the model for Christianity in this place. So as again we head towards the APCM, I ask you to think very carefully and pray very carefully about what your part can be in the future of this place and how important you think it is to be a Christian presence here in this little church, in this little place to offer hope and love in a broken world. Amen. So let us affirm our faith together. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that he is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world and let us give thanks for God's goodness. Gracious God, be with us as we gather this morning to hear your word, as we gather to break bread in the presence of Jesus. Walk with us, gracious God, on the journey of our faith as individuals and as a church, both locally and more widely. Open to us the truths you longed for us to understand and inspire all who teach and encourage. Equip us all to pass on the good news of Easter and to be a place of hope. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our Gracious God, be with us in our streets, in our towns and villages as we travel. Meet all those who are curious and searching and looking for love, peace and hope in their lives. May your presence be sought and recognised throughout the world. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our Gracious God, be with each of us in our life journeys. Guide and teach us. Help us to learn the lessons of loving one another in our homes, in our work and in our communities. May we be beacons of hope in this troubled world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, walk alongside us through the times of suffering and pain. Help us to see one another's needs. Help us to provide what is needed when we see it. Help us each to trust you through the dark times, breathing life and hope into all those who need to see it. And we pray this morning for those in need of your prayers and who have asked for our prayers by name. Praying for Kelly, Evie, Ian, for Roland, Kathy, Michael, Ruth, Zachary, Alison and Harley. Praying for Dawn, Nish, Jasmine, Emma, Charlie, Valda, Andy, Sue and Jocelyn. Praying for Theo, Rebecca, Haley, Lynn, Tom, and Tony. Praying for Bobby, Steve, Myrtle, Susan, Fiona, Jeff, Peter, Martin, and David. Praying for Daniel, Pat, Lisa, Herman, Viola, Pam, Riona, Winifred, and Christina. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Gracious God, walk with us, Lord, through the valley of death. May our prayers and our love support those who walk that journey today. We pray for the bereaved and for those who have gone into your loving arms. Praying for John Anderson and Bert Smith and remembering Pamapil George and Olive Pardon whose anniversaries fall at this time. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Would you please stand for the peace? Somebody did a very good amen then. Who was that? <laughs> oh. Good <laughs> the risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. And they were glad when they saw the Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. 
We remain standing for our offertory hymn. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, give us the bread of everlasting life and make us branches of the true vine. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. 
It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, almighty and eternal Father. And in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in women and men the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of eternal life. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence, his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, we pray. Our Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
Gott läuft her. Guck mal da. Du hast dieses Beutel hier. Ich bin wirklich laut. Oh mein Gott. Ai, olha, dá pra você. Eu só odeio esse problema. Não, eu odeio Jesus Christ, meu cheiro. Eu sou muito difícil lá, eu tô muito feliz. Ah, olha. Eu só odeio esse problema. Let us pray. Living God, your son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of the bread. Open the eyes of our faith that we may see him in all his redeeming work, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. We pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Unreminded this morning, bands. <laughs> um, and we're reading the bands for Andrew and Connie who are here. Come up. Now, Andrew and Connie are used to the nine o'clock service. <laughs> Have you been to the ten before? Okay, just check it. <laughs> now, I've just got to remember. No, just stay there, sorry. It is St Paul's Annalee, isn't it? The parish. Yeah, I'm just double checking. Right, turn around, everyone. Turn around and face everyone. <laughs> So, I publish The Bands of Marriage between Andrew Paul Leckie and Constance Lillian Rusk, both residing in the parish of St Paul's Annalee and by the qualifying connection of attendance. If anyone knows any reason in law why these persons should not marry, you are to declare it now. I guess that's a note. So you've got week one signed off. So can we give them a round of applause and pray for them? As they come? <laughs> because... I knew I could do it with these two because they get well into the action songs at the nine, so they're quite expert. Um, other notices are on the screen. Um, please do have a look at all of those. Um, and also, please bear in mind what I said last week about needing the officers and things for church warden, assistant church wardens and PCC members. Please continue to pray and think about that very carefully. Uh, we only have a couple of weeks to go. Um, and there's lots of other things people can do and we will look at those after the APCM. Um, but for now, that's really where we need to concentrate and before we go any further, um, okay. Um, are there any other notices? No. There is something I would like to do though, and, and, and sorry about this, Karen, it doesn't have to come up anyway. Um, Jackie, will you come with me? As we're not going to get him up. But Andy's having surgery. So, as good Christians, we should be praying for him. So, 
Let's pray. <laughs> loving God, we ask you to hold Andy in your loving hands, that you fill him with your health and well-being, with your comfort and your peace. Bless those who will care for them, that with skilled hands and wisdom, they may give Andy a life of flourishing and joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can we put, oh, that's on, thank you. Grown disciples, we're having a bit of a row at the altar rail, so I don't know what's going on there. So we're going to talk about harmony. <laughs> So, so, what did you get up to today? Who would like to say, Hayley? We we done some rock painting. Oh, fabulous! And what did you paint on your rocks? Uh, things about Easter and stuff that we want to do. Okay. Can anybody tell me what they did on their rock? We all don't know what to do when God what what rolled rolled away. Like when the stone rolled away. Brilliant, Luca. Um, we drawed like I drew the cross and colour coming out of it. Superb. Anybody else like to add anything? Oh, look at this. Would you like to hold your rocks up? Those that have got them, so everybody can can see them. Do you want to show everyone? Turn around. Wow, aren't they beautiful? Thank you very much, Miranda. Do you want to add anything, or are we okay? No. Thank you. No. You've got lots of rocks and an egg that everybody likes, it seems. Okay. So, should we give Growing Disciples a round of applause? Thank you. And please do join us for refreshments at the back afterwards. The Lord be with you. And also the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. We stand to sing our final hymn. <laughs>
go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen.